Hi, I'm Mark from l &M Small Engine. Today we're working on a John Deere LA145 riding lawnmower. Um, when they were mowing the other day, it was like a bad day for them. I guess they ran into a tree and bent the tie rods on the front end. And the deck got stuck under a stump, I guess, and bent the blade and burnt the spot in the belt. So... Today we're going to get the front end rear line. As you can see, the tire over here is like pulled away out. This one over here is straight. So we're going to get that all fixed up and we're going to work on the deck. So hope you enjoy the video. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take the hood off. I don't want to damage the hood when I lift the front end up. But this doesn't plug the lights. And you get this in a certain spot and it pops right off. These hoods on these John Deere's are really expensive. So I'd rather take them off. So we're gonna jack this front end up. So I'm gonna put the jack right in the center here so we can jack it up and See if we can straighten them rods or replace the rods or see what we got to do here. Okay, we'll get in a spot where we can work on this. And sometimes it might not even be these rods, you know. After a while, these front axles, they sit in like a hook like this. And sometimes, you know, the pivot arm will wear out. And it'll actually fold the bottom edge of that front axle down. And that could make it out of a line. Okay, I got the two back ones out. Now we're going to take the fronts off. And John Deere's are metric, so we'll hold on to it. To the drag link here with the 15 and the Bottom nuts are 17. And you gotta save save the nuts because the new the new drag links don't come with the nuts. And what I like about the new ones you can adjust them. And these ones here, you can't. That must have been a pretty common problem with these getting bent. You can tell it's bent more than what it's supposed to. 
and they're they're made a little bit thicker. But yeah, I call them tie rods, but they're actually drag links, I guess. So we'll go and put these on and we'll, we'll adjust the front tires and we can adjust. You loosen these nuts and turn this in or out to bring the tires in or out. Because when the tires ain't going true straight, you're putting a strain on your transmission belt. Then you could overheat the, if you have a high hydrostat transmission, you can get the fluid a lot hot, hotter, and you can actually ruin your transmission if the the toe is way out. So it's always good to have your front end aligned. So, but before I do this, I'm gonna loosen up this nut. So when we get these adjusted, we can fine tune it. Then when it's all done, we'll tighten this nut up. But we'll loosen this nut. And I'll throw them on real quick. And we'll get the tires aligned and we'll go ahead and tighten the nuts there. Okay, you want to make sure the steering wheel is straight. And as you're sitting on the lawnmower, the left side, as you can see, the left side tire, that's pretty straight. So we're going to go ahead and tighten up the left drag link. And as you can see, on the other side here, tires are kind of sticking out, so we're going to readjust that one. So, we'll go back over here. So, we're going to go ahead and tighten this side up. As you can see, the nuts are loose, so we can then we'll double check and make sure that steering wheel is straight. I like these new drag links because the old ones didn't have no adjusters on them. As you can see, no adjusters. These new ones have adjustments on them. So now, if you run into something and you bend something up, you can readjust it. So <coughs> the front of the tire is out. So we're going to pop this out and we're going to screw it in a little bit. We'll screw it in about two turns and try that. And when we get it close, we use a tape measure and make sure it's lined up. But right now we're just going to do it by eye. And we're still going to have to tow it in a little bit more. See if we're getting closer here. Turn it one more time, it looks like. And we'll take a tape measure and make sure it's true. That way it won't wear out your tires or wear out your belt. Or possibly actually ruin your transmission. This depends how bad it's off. So we'll go ahead and tighten this up.
That's looking really good right there, but I'm going to grab a tape measure. Hey, when I do this, you don't, you don't want to put it on the edge of the tires. You like pick, pick one of these like little cleats. Like we'll pick this one right here because they're in a straight line. So we'll measure from that one to the edge of the one on the other side. It's 27 and a quarter. And you want to do the back ones. You make sure you. You pick the second one. It's good to have a strong tape measure so it don't so it don't bend on you. And twenty seven and a little over a quarter. That's really, really close. So anyways, that's how that's how you line up your front end and you double check your steering wheel. Make sure it's in the straight position. And now you're not gonna wear out your tires or your transmission belt or possibly ruin your transmission. So that's how you fix and adjust your front alignment. And pretty much like on all lawnmower. So now everything's straight. So we're going to tighten up them nuts there so it stays true. And that's how you do a front end. So Okay, now we got steering all done. Now we're going to We're going to put on the new blades here. I don't know exactly what all happened, but it, a whole bunch of stuff happened at once. And this is the blade right here that's bent, but we're just going to replace them all. You can buy them from John Deere, you usually buy, get the set anyway. And when you put these on, make sure the wings are always up. Then on these washers, it's like a cone washer. So when you tighten it up, it's like a cone. It like puts pressure on the nut. It's almost like a like a lock washer. And the same with that. Make sure that cone is up. Cone is up. Wings are up. Got some twine and stuff on there. Make sure you get all that off. So don't don't ruin your bearing.
Then the Zerks on these are on the top end. So when I'm done with this, well, we got to put the belt on anyway. So I'm going to make sure I grease them up really good. And on the star thing, there's a star thing on there. Make sure it pops in there into place. There, that's done. Now we're going to do the belt, and we should be done then. So. I'm going to lower, lower the lawnmower just a little bit here. There we go. And on these John Deere's, it's a lot easier if you unhook this front and set it down, but we got to take the belt off first. There we go. Pop this quick pin out. There's a little washer on there. And go ahead and sit on a jack stand so it don't fall all the way down. You know, give us a lot of room to work on that belt. And you have these safety covers on top here. We're going to have to pop these two safety covers off. I believe that's a 10 millimeter. And we'll go ahead and change the belt. Okay, now it's time to take them covers off. And then we're 10 millimeter bolt. And got some debris in there. We'll get that cleaned up. I'm going to take the other side off here. A lot of debris on this side. Okay, on this pull here, there's a bar that comes up so the belt don't come off. And there's one on this one. And there's one on this one. We're going to loosen up all three of these idler pulleys. So we can slide the belt out of there. You don't got to take the nuts all the way out, just loosen them up. Just so you can lift them up. And this little carriage bar right here, we're going to loosen that up too to get that belt out of there. And we 
loosen the other side up. That keeps that so the belt don't pop off. We're just gonna loosen this side. That way we can that way the belt will come right off. So we'll lift up on the pulley and the belt comes right out. And kind of remember how this went. Sometimes on the front of the deck they'll have like a picture. But this one don't. Just kind of remember. And the reason why I know there's a burnt spot on the bell is when you engage the blades and the whole thing just vibrates. Okay. Got the old belt off. And you can see right there. That's where she got stuck and burnt it. So I'm going to grab a new belter. For these LA-145s, it's a GX-2183-3 belt. And like on John Deere's and Snapper lawnmowers, you can't use like a regular half inch belt because they have a different V pattern. You, know, you have to buy original equipment for it to work right. You can buy that aftermarket stuff on the internet, but it just don't seem to last as long because they don't have that, that special taper, especially on Snapper, Snapper lawnmowers. And John Deere's kind of like that too. It costs a little bit more to get the original part, but in the long run, they last a lot, last a lot longer. So we wrap it around that pulley over there, and we come back through, go around that one there. Come back around this big, big one here. And we wrap that up like that. And like that. And set, set our idler pulleys down so we can go ahead and tighten all three of them up. And we'll put the covers on and we'll raise the deck up and put it back on the PTO clutch. When we take the belts off, just kind of remember how they were. Some lawnmowers have the stickers on the front of them. Well, this one either fell off or it didn't come with one. We must make sure the idler pulleys are spinning. Make sure none of them are locked up or anything. Okay, now we can go and put them safety covers on the two outside pulleys. I'm going to better tighten that up before I forget. 
In fact, I better do that right now before I get too carried away. <coughs> and we'll tighten the other side up. If I get the yak and I forget what I start doing here. There. Well, that's nice and tight. Then we put our safety covers on. No, we make sure the belts are on the pulleys. Got dropped. Dropped in here. Okay, now all we do is lift the deck back up and put that pin in there. Like that. Put our washer on. Put our pin in there. And there we go. That's how you do her. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate you watching. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Anyways, you have a good afternoon. Thanks for watching.